everyone um earlier just um my, don't mind the squeaky stool i'm sitting on earlier i made a makeup video today um to do this look this is what it looks like it's at the end of the day um it lasted pretty great um the foundation cream that i've been ranting and raving about is credo and voltor and I also told you that I heard via the grapevine that another great product is going to be coming out somewhere in March. And I also said that it was a makeup remover. So I just want to compare um, Credo and Voldor's makeup remover. I got a little sample. So it's not yet in the right packaging. It's just to show you how it works and to talk about the makeup remover quickly. Um... A lot of people think that when you put a makeup remover or when you use a makeup remover that you should not cleanse your face afterward and that is not correct. You are supposed to put your makeup remover and then still go in with facial wash afterward. Um, just to make sure that the, the breakdown that your makeup remover is causing from the makeup that you're wearing to wash all of that away and to cleanse your face then. Okay, so I am going to take a makeup remover that I have. Um, I won't be sharing what make it is. I'll just be showing you how it works and then I'll be comparing it to the Credo and Baldor cleansing balm. It is so cool. I just, I love this cleansing balm. It just melts away on the skin. It is so amazing. I'm going to do half, half. Um, besides, I'll be able, I won't be able to see what I'm doing if I do my whole face at once, which would be kind of, yeah, but I'm going to show you. So let me just get my cotton. I don't, my cotton pads are finished, so I'm just going to use this row and then I'm going to take off some cotton. Okay. And then I just want to explain quickly, like, I have watched a lot of makeup artists or a few of them remove makeup um, and they say that you should wet your cotton and then put it on your eyes especially like to break down the mascara and then once it's broken down it'll be removing the mascara and everything a lot easier so just gonna show you this makeup remover not gonna put a name on it so I'm gonna wet my cotton a lot. Let me just see, can you see the cotton? Okay, let's just squirt that out. I've taken a lot, it's pretty soggy now. Um, sorry, okay, so it's pretty soggy. I'm gonna put it on my eye. Let the product break down. Well, I watched one of those makeup girls um, show how it needs to break down but I'm so scared because it feels like it's going in my eye and I just don't want to lose an eye so let's see I don't know how long I should do this before it actually starts breaking down okay so you can see some of it coming off almost no mascara I'm wearing waterproof mascara though I'm just, it feels like there's still some mascara on there. Not sure. Let's just see. Let's remove the brow. My eye is burning. My eye is burning. My eye is burning. Ah. Let me just grab a wipe. Okay, so if you oof, need to let it break down, it's obviously not a good idea to do it like this. This is like eating my eye alive. Mother of all. <coughs> this is this is hurtful. Okay, so oh, I'm sure it still feels like there is some mascara on. This is burning the living out of me. Okay, I'm rubbing pretty hard, and my eye is burning. Like, I'm sure you can see it's a bit more red. Let me just... 
it's red it's burning the living crap out of it. it's burning i don't know if you're supposed to like hold it there for it to break down this is definitely oh ow, it's burning it's really it's okay well so i've used that makeup remover that i cannot mention the name of then i am gonna go in with this bomb this is what it looks like for now it's packaged like this because this is literally just a pre-sample okay so i'm just going to show you what it does on my hand okay it's like a bomb so i take a bit it's a bit mushy but it's really nice so i'm just gonna put it on my hand and then just wash it melt away it's so gentle there's also vitamin E in here, so that's nice. And it really just, it's so smooth. It's so soft. It's amazing. It just melts away. So, shh, my eye is still burning. Oh, that was horrible. That was a horrible experience. Like, that's the first time I, like, held it there for it to break down and then boom. My eyes burning the living out of me. Okay. So I'm going to put this balm on like this. Okay. You can, it's going to, if I leave it there, it's going to melt away. But you see it's already falling. So I'm not using a lot. But I'm going to put it on my eye. Gently massage it down. Just get it all up in there. Please don't open your eye. I'm not, I'm definitely not going to be open, opening my eye to find out if it burns. But I'm definitely having it sit there and I'm not feeling any burning as yet. It feels so soft. It's so amazing. It's really soft. It's great. It feels really smooshy and melting away. Okay, so then you can go in with facial cloth or a microfiber cloth. Or you could just take a wet wipe. I've, okay, I'm just, I'm holding my eye closed and I'm not feeling any burning sensation. I'm hoping that this has removed all of the mascara. I'm wearing waterproof mascara. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm taking my wet wipe. And then I'm just going to swoop it all over. Okay. I'm not having any burning eyes. Or burning eye. So, yeah. How a makeup remover works is you leave it to break down the makeup or you put it on to um, break down the makeup. What I love about this cleansing balm is that it really melts in anywhere and you won't be missing a lot you can see this looks drier and then this it just looks so soft and even though it has vitamin e and everything in it that's really nice um just remember that you are gonna have to go in is there something in my eye here we go you are going to have to still wash with your facial cleanser, your normal facial cleanser. I'm just going to clean this side everywhere. Okay, and this is from the Credo and Voldor makeup remover. Makeup remover balm. And then this is from the other non-mentionable makeup remover and then i'm gonna take a clean cloth again okay let's see So, 
the side was the Credo and Voldor side. And this side is from the other makeup remover. So um, when I'm wiping, I'm still wiping a lot more off from the other makeup remover. And the Credo and Voldor is still half as much. But like I said, the makeup remover is just to break down the makeup that you have on your face. It's to break down the components that keep your makeup sitting where it's supposed to sit. And then you should still go in with a normal facial cleanser to cleanse your face. Now, I'm honest when I tell you that I can still, when I'm doing this, this side, the Credo and Waldor side, feels very soft and there are literally none of the clumps left of my mascara that I can feel definitely but this side it still feels like there are little clumps on my lashes it still feels that way so I'm gonna go wash my face and then I'd be able I think I'd be able to definitely tell how it feels then Okay, I have gone to wash my face just ordinarily with soap and just tapped it dry. You can see on this side, it's much cleaner and it's like, it's still on this side. It's like there was some leftover mascara making that line underneath or not removing, cleaning my eye underneath my waterline as the Credo and Voldor did. So, yeah. But I really, I really like the Credo and Voldor cleansing balm. I feel that you'll be using a lot less of that. Um, because with a liquid, you need to make your cotton pads super, super, super wet if you want to let your makeup break down, if you want to hold it in a specific place when you're having um, waterproof mascara for instance and with the balm it spreads a lot more it spreads out a lot more so even if the cleaning was exactly the same I think I'd still like a cleansing balm much more as you'd be using a lot less um, product for cleansing the same amount of skin I don't know that is that's how I feel about it so I've cleansed my face with just normal cleanser I can feel that I am very dry because yeah I have very 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 dry skin um, so because it feels like my skin is exceptionally dry I'll be going in with my retinol serum from standard beauty okay so I'm just going to put it on my hand if I can get it open okay so I'm gonna put some on my hand and just place it on my face just dab it in lightly because it helps for pores so I'm going to put some there and here Okay, and then also here, just a little, not too much. I see like other videos, people are like drenching their faces in, in the serums. It's really unnecessary. You are just wasting product. If you like wasting product, just you have a reason to go buy some more, then by all means do it that way. I'm just going to gently tap that in. And then also because I feel that my skin is really, really dry. Um, I will be going in with another great product that I love. It's Squin and it's the Ruby Marine Mask. It's really nice, especially in the winter because I like to like extra moisturize in the winter, obviously. Um, and it smells, it smells so great. It really smells great. And I'm just going to put some and it's really moisturizing. So I love this product. It's so nice. If you want to put a night cream on, this is really 
the Ruby Squin Ruby Marine Overnight Hydrating Mask. It is so nice. I'm just going to show it to you again. It's really fabulous. I really love it. And a little goes a long way. Like, I'm all for a little going a long way, okay? I mean, I don't know who is not. I can't imagine someone wanting to use half a bottle of anything at once. I just called that spoiled, whatever. But this is, this is great. So, I feel hydrated. I feel a bit oily, but that's okay because it's the end of the day. And really, I need the moisture. I really do need it. So, you just get that blood circulation going. There we go. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you are so excited about the Credo and Voldor Makeup Remover Balm. Um, I hope that you're excited as I am. And if you're not, well, I hope that you get to try it one day or want to try it and also fall in love with it because I like it already. It's not yet finished to the T. But I hope that you will love to try it or would like to try it. And then I hope that you'll fall in love with it and definitely stick to Credo and Waldor. Thank you so much. You must have a lovely evening. Goodbye.